Hey YouTube, how's it going? Hey guys, it's been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. You know, um, let's jump into this coding. So right now, we're gonna go back to learn HTML, and the section we're gonna be going on is radio button input. All right, let's get started. HTML forms. Radio button input. Check boxes work well if we want to present users with multiple options and let them choose one or more of the options. However, there are cases where we want to present multiple options and only allow for one selection. Like asking users if they agree or disagree with the terms and conditions. Let's look over the code used to create radio buttons. So this is the code here. So it's form, uh, p tag, then the text, what is the sum of one plus one? Then you close the p tag, and then you have an input type, radio button, id equals two, the name, and the answer and value. So these are the um, elements right here. ID, name, okay. Label for two, two, label break, input type, radio button, ID 11, name, answer, value 11, label for 11, 11, label form. Which renders, so this, which outputs, this code outputs what is sum of one plus one is two oh, and then 11 right here your your options what you want to select and this is the radio button the circle right here notice from the code snippet radio buttons like check boxes do not display their value we have an associated label to represent the value of the radio button to group radio buttons together we assign them the same way we assign them the same name and only one radio button from that group that can be selected. Let's see the action by creating our own radio buttons. All right, here's the instructions right here. So number one, we can give our users the options to make their burger into a cheeseburger. Let's use radio buttons for that. In section element with a class of cheesy, there are two labels that don't have associated input elements. Add an input element associated with the first label. The created input should have an ID set to yes, a type set to radio, a name attribute with a value of cheese, a value of yes. All right, so this is the code right here. Let me go all the way down. And then we see, so we're gonna add our radio, radio button here. Okay, so let's get started. Let's do it. So first of all, let's tab in and let's make a um open that up and put make an input ID equals and then quotes yes and then we do a type equals quotes radio. When you do that, and then let's put a name equals, what is it, cheese, and then we have a value, close that up, we have a value equals yes, and then we close this, all right, and I like to check that, I like to check that, let's see, let's run the code. Cool, we got that. Nice. So that's finished. The ID is set to yes. The type radio set type is set to radio. Name attribute set to cheese. The value set to yes. Okay, let's move on. And let's do a um. Let's do next. Okay, so add the second radio button. Here we go. So the second one will be 
Awesome. Now add an input element to give the user another choice. Created input should have an ID set to no, a type set to radio, a name attribute with the value cheese, and a value of no. Okay, the same thing. So let's go to input ID as equals set to no. And then type, what is the type? Type equals should be a radio. And then we should go ahead and name equals cheese, the value, oops, should be double quotes. Just to keep it, um, keep it the same. And then the value should be equals to no. And close that. There we go. Run it. Good, we got it. Nice. So in this section, we learned how to create radio buttons, how to code radio buttons and use them. And then we click here, yes and no. And it works. All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And take care out there and be safe. See you later.